What is up, party people? It is Justin Langua, Sterling Investment Advisors, and it is 2023 prediction time. Unlike the weatherman that you tune into, or weather lady, or weather person, that you tune into every day, they're wrong, but we tune into them again tomorrow in hopes that they might be right. Uh, I will call myself out on any of these predictions, and I do it throughout the year. Uh, last year, one of the things I called myself out on was I didn't think we would have as many interest rate increases. The frequency of the increases, they just picked up uh, the third and the fourth quarter. So I was wrong. I was off by, I think, a point in terms of what I thought the, the overall interest rate increase would be. But I'll make up for it this year, and I'm gonna tell you right now, my number one thing on the list is interest rates will increase short-term rates at least a point to as high as a point and a half. Second thing I have on my list is cap rates. Cap rates will increase a minimum of a, of a point to a, a point and a half, possibly as, as high as two points. So that McDonald's you've been eyeing for the last few years that's at a three and a half cap, it will likely transact somewhere closer to maybe four and a quarter, four and a half uh, before the end of 2023. Third thing on my list is you'll see a, a pretty significant increase in defaults. And foreclosures you know you have you've got this big group of investors over the last three to five years they're relatively new to the investment world the commercial real estate investment world they were buying deals three three and a half percent interest rates or cap rates were probably closer to like four and five percent in some cases the cap rate and the interest rate were almost running on a one-to-one -one ratio you'll see uh, some of these people will have to come back for uh, balloons, refinancing loans, and they're just not going to be able to make it. So uh, unfortunately, there will be some default, there will be some foreclosure. But with bad news comes good news. If you're a buyer, if you're an opportunistic, there's a, there's a perfect opportunity for you to scoop something up. Industrial rents, uh, this is something that we've talked about in the past. Industrial property has been the darling of the commercial real estate industry for the last five, six plus years, especially with all the logistics uh, that have been brought online. Those rents will decrease. Fuel surcharges, um, just the overall cost of inflation on a company, uh, rents are going to be one of the very first things that they target. Uh, so we will see a reduction in rent. And then my favorite of the year in 2022 was this, what I called the big ass gap. Um, it wasn't until recently that I realized it was the bid ask gap. It will narrow, it will tighten. So that's great news for buyers that have been waiting on the sidelines, just sitting there patiently looking for a deal. Seller expectations will uh, come down a bit. Buyers will have to pay a little bit more. But uh, those are my five key predictions for 2023. If you got anything to add, feel free to hit me up. Peace.